Today we are going to talk about American football. American football, known as just football in the United States and Canada, is a group activity played by two groups of 11 players on a rectangular field with goal lines at each end. The offense, the group with ownership of the oval formed football, endeavors to progress down the field by running with the ball or passing it. While the barrier, the group without ownership of the ball, means to stop the offense's development and to take the ball for themselves. The offense must progress in any direction, 10 yards, in four downs, or plays. If they fizzle, they surrender the football to the safeguard. On the off chance that they succeed, they are given another arrangement of four plays, to proceed with the drive. Points are scored principally by propelling the ball into the rival group's end zone for a score, or kicking the ball through the rival's goal lines for a field score. The group with the most points toward the finish of a match wins. History American football advanced in the United States, starting from the games of soccer and rugby. The main American football game was played on November 6, 1869, between two school groups, Rutgers and Princeton, utilizing rules dependent on the standards of soccer at that point. They comprised of 25 players each and utilized a round ball that couldn't be conveyed. It could be that as it may, be kicked or batted with the feet, hands, head, or sides, with the goal being to propel it into the rival's goalpost. Rutgers dominated the match 6-4. University play proceeded for quite a long while with matches played utilizing the guidelines of the host school. Delegates of Yale, Columbia, Princeton, and Rutgers met on October 19, 1873, to make a standard arrangement of rules for use by all schools. Groups were set at 20 players each, and fields of 400 by 250 feet. Harvard kept away from the gathering, as they supported a rugby-style game that permitted running with the ball. In the wake of playing McGill University utilizing both Canadian and American guidelines, a Harvard players favored the Canadian style of having just 11 men on the field, running the ball without being pursued by an adversary, the forward pass, handling, and utilizing an oval rather than a round ball. A lot of rule changes drawn up from 1880 forward by Walter Kemp, the father of American football, set up the snap, the line of scrimmage, 11 player groups, and the idea of downs. Later, guideline changes sanctioned the forward pass, made the impartial zone, and determined the size and state of the football. The game is firmly identified with Canadian football, which advanced simultaneously as the American game, even though their guidelines were grown freely from that of each other. The greater part of the highlights that recognize American football from rugby and soccer are likewise present in Canadian football. The two games are viewed as the essential variations of gridiron football. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then please press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon to stay updated regarding all our latest videos. See you next time.